When I first found out I was pregnant, it was surprising. At that time, my son was seven months old. We were just kind of nervous, excited, but you know, looking forward to adding a, a baby sister. My mom's name is actually Angelica, so I was mentioning to itself, what if we name her Angelique? Sort of like angel, you know, God's angel. I had a healthy pregnancy. I looked forward and, you know, prayed for a healthy, safe delivery as well. And when I was there in the postpartum room, it was just a nursery nurse that came in, and she told me, we noticed some eye twitching in your baby. And of course, they followed up with an MRI. So that's where they gave us the diagnosis of hemimegalencephaly. And it was then when I did some research and I found that Children's National actually has an HME program. The traditional treatment for seizures due to hemimegalencephaly is anatomic hemispherectomy. And that is a procedure in which the neurosurgeon removes the entire half of the brain that is affected. Under three months of age, the surgical risks are too high. It's not an acceptable treatment. Our team here in 2013 discovered that there was this unmet medical need. And we thought of using embolization as a way to close the blood vessels to that abnormal hemisphere. But as we were waiting for the baby to be mature enough for a hemispherectomy, we saw that the seizures were stopping. So this is a time-sensitive procedure because ongoing seizures do harm to the good side of the brain in this condition. And there are many studies that show that with each passing month, with ongoing seizures, there is a stark developmental decline. So our goal is to stop seizures as soon as possible so that the good side can continue to develop. There are a lot of risks involved and it really requires somebody highly specialized in this that can do this procedure on these type of babies with this diagnosis. Children's National is the only place for this procedure now because we have a dedicated hemimegalencephaly team. You really need all of these players to be able to have a successful outcome like we've had for the last several years. We often run into insurance denials in the first phase of the prior authorization. For Angelique's case, her insurance really was unrelenting. We were already initiating an appeal with the insurance. They denied that first appeal. The next step was to have a state fair hearing. We were praying really, really hard so that we can wait. The Doctors and Children's National advocated so, so much for our daughter, Angelique. And then that same day, they gave us the response. The insurance finally approved our transfer to Children's National. We finally felt that she was where she needed to be. Before, I would always think, when is she ever gonna like look at me and smile? She was just there, but not there. And it was two days before we got discharged from the hospital. She was almost gonna be three months old when finally she looked at me in the eyes and she smiled. And for me, that was like a miracle. There are a lot of critical periods to get these babies through, but at the end, when you see the seizures stop on the EEG and you look at before, it's very erratic, and then you see it quiet, that's when you say, okay, it's worth it. And when we see a case like Angelique's, she's been seizure-free since the last procedure, and she's making wonderful developmental outcomes, that's motivation to us that we, we have to continue doing this, that this is, is worth it. We're just aspiring for the best, aspiring for her to live the best life possible. And she can now because of this procedure.